I hereby challenge you, the great David Wood, to a debate. And I think, unlike any debate you've had before, this one will actually be a challenge. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Christian apologist who argues against the truth of Islam through careful analysis of evidence. Yet, I'm prepared to take the Muslim side and challenge David on the question, was Muhammad a prophet? Why would I do that? Frankly, Muslim debaters are terrible. David has had debate after debate after debate with Muslim apologists and has never once faced a real challenge. He's had Muslims ignore the topic and spend all their time attacking Christianity. We're not here to talk about Christianity. We're here to talk about Muhammad. We're here to see whether Muslims can show that the things they say about their prophet are true. Now Jesus in the Old Testament commands the Israelites under Moses and Joshua to exterminate entire populations of men, women, children, animals, and trees. Jesus inspires Moses to stone a man simply because he picked up wood on the Sabbath. Jesus in Luke chapter 19, after giving us the parable of the king, he concludes by saying, but those enemies who do not accept me as their king, bring them hither and slay them before me. He's watched Muslims twist scholars' words beyond all recognition. Raymond Brown, though a conservative uh, scholar, <laughs> and in his uh, two-volume work, The Death of the Messiah, he, asks, uh, he says, uh, we must wonder uh, as to what was the physiological cause of the death of our Lord, because crucifixion pierces no vital organ. You lie! You lie! Actually, He's had experts claim they don't know the answer to the debate subject which they themselves chose, but still somehow know David is wrong. The point is, I don't know what to believe on the issue. That's what I believe. David Wood is misleading people on this topic in regards to the age of Aisha at the consummation, radiallahu anha, I don't know. I'm not afraid to tell any Muslims that or any non-Muslims that. I don't know. But he knows that what he, the reason he even brings that up because he knows that he's wrong on the issue. He's seen random outbursts of rage and faced death threats. Coming back to life again is not there in your scripture. I'm again and again saying, I'm not saying from my side that he's a liar. Paul is a liar because he said according to the scripture. This is not there in the scripture. Coming back to life, it is not there in the scripture. I gave you proof and you did not touch on that. Uh, well, you go ahead and share your point, sir. Get the point, sir. Yes. My point is, I'm going to hang you like Jesus was hung, you son of a bitch. He's had Muslims say he made career-ending mistakes and then agree with him 100%. I think David Wood has said some career-ending embarrassing statements today. In Surah 33, verse 56 of the Quran, we read, Surely Allah and his angels pray for the prophet. O you who believe, pray for him and salute him with a worthy salutation. Allah and his angels pray for the prophet. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the prophet. David has even had a clown feign embarrassment and pretend he wants to change the debate topic in his opening statement. This can't be. It says here, all right, David, it doesn't say that. It says, it says, fight those who, fight those who believe not in Allah in the last day. Hmm. Well, can we change the topic to what we all have in common? That's actually a much better topic, don't you think? I mean, actually, uh, because we do have a lot in common. Um, with the moderator, would that be okay if we could just change that topic? No. And of course, he's faced countless insults and personal attacks. This guy is not respectable, so he will not be treated with respect. I'm going to allow an Islamophobe. But the problem is David Wood is too ignorant to understand. No, I'm, I'm a horrible, finish. evil let person. Me let me finish. When you look at 10 interpretation, the reason you're confused is because you don't have enough knowledge or enough sense to ask a scholar. So he's trying to wing it. He's trying to just digest the information I'm giving him 
I knew he was ignorant of the situation. You know, he's ignorant of the reference. Animals is not a form, but a way of life, which the most important behavior of animals' uh, life is selfishness. Me, just me. I don't care about anyone else, and I am ready to kill millions of people because uh, I want to become richer and richer. Some spread hate against other races and religions like Adolf Hitler did. Some like David Wood and his friend AP spread hate against Muslims and Islam by demonizing Islam and Muslims by a bunch of trash fabricated hadiths in order to get more followers and make money. But what David has never faced is a cogent argument. Granted, Muslim debaters don't have much to work with, but still, I think I can do better. Why do I say that? It's simple. I'm not forced by my religion to defend ridiculous statements. I'm not forced to pretend Muhammad is the greatest moral example ever to live. I'm not forced to pretend he was peaceful, or intelligent, or even a half-decent human being. I'm not forced to pretend the Quran is a literary masterpiece free of air. I'm not forced to pretend it was perfectly preserved, or that it contains scientific foreknowledge. Since I'm not forced to defend stupidity, I can craft a real argument based on historical reality, rather than one based on fairy tale nonsense and deception. Want to know more? The ball's in your court, David. Accept my challenge, and I promise we'll have a very interesting evening.